This clip from Taylor Swift's Miss Americana 2020 documentary is going viral today because we get to see the behind the scenes look of Taylor Swift having a very intense conversation about politics in the United States. We've not got involved with politics or religion. Yeah, but this is on the home front. And also, back in the presidential election, I was in such a horrendous place that I wasn't going to pop my head out of the sand for why anything. Why would you? I mean, does Bob Hope do well, it? Why, does Crosby well, do it? Does, does Mick hey, Jagger do hell? it? Come on. No, what I'm saying right now is... Bob it, Hope first and of all, Crosby. These aren't your dad's celebrities, and these aren't your dad's Republicans. Well, imagine, imagine if we came to you and said, hey, we've got this idea that we could halve the number of people that come to you next to it. And the other thing, just from a security so standpoint, you think people, Taylor Swift comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. I'm sad that I didn't two years ago, but I can't change that. I'm saying right now that this is something that I know is right, and you guys, I need to be on the right side of history. Taylor, and if he Taylor, doesn't win, that at least I, I, at least I tried. Taylor, here's the here's the problem. I just want to read you what I wrote, and I'm going to try to start. I just really want you to know that this is important to me. I this totally is agree that, have you, with have the you issue. Just, but have let you me heard? You. Have let, you just heard? Yes, I've read the entire thing, and the bottom line right now, I'm terrified. I'm the guy that went out and bought armored cars. I worry for her safety as much as anybody does. Maybe more. It really is a big deal to me. She votes against against fair pay for women. She votes against the reauthorization of the of the Violence Against Women Act, which is just basically protecting us from domestic abuse and stalking. Stalking. She votes, she thinks that, that if you're a gay couple, or even if you look like a gay couple, you should be allowed to be kicked out of a restaurant. It's really basic human rights, and it's right and wrong at this point, and I can't see another commercial and see her disguising these policies behind the words Tennessee Christian values. Those aren't Tennessee Christian values. I live in Tennessee. I am Christian. That's not what we stand for. I need to do this. I need you to just... I just need you to forgive me for doing it, because I'm doing it. Now, that clip was filmed in 2018, so that was right in the midst of the Trump presidency. And it's very clear that the Swift family is concerned about Taylor's safety if she were to come out against Donald Trump. I mean, the violence of the mega cult is you know, is and was apparent even before the Capitol Hill assault. So that just says a lot about how the country looks at the mega movement. And I personally loved Taylor Swift, uh, Taylor Swift's response there saying, I, I-, I don't care. I-, I need to be on the right side of history in this. I should have done this two years ago, but there's nothing I can do about that now clearly she has had you know the two years to really think about what she could have done with her influence and if she could have steered the country in a different direction we, we also see that her father and and I'm, I'm assuming that's maybe like a business manager the others in the room were concerned about her losing uh, half of of her audience taylor swift was young when she saw the Dixie Chicks, who were country musicians who spoke out against George Bush, and they were blacklisted from a lot of radio stations, and it really took a toll on that group. So clearly there's reasons for them being concerned about Taylor possibly losing her career if she were to speak out against Donald Trump. And we know that Donald Trump was way more vindictive than George Bush was. And the Republican Party and the mega cult is a thousand times more vindictive than Bush voters were and Republicans were uh, in the early part of the century. And that goes to, you know, that part of the clip where Taylor Swift is talking about how these aren't your dad's Republicans and these aren't your dad's celebrities, that the, the game has changed and she understands how extreme these people are and how there needs to be a response to that and it's no longer the day where you can just sit around and just enjoy your career 
and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Uh, and that's, that's a great sign, right? Because the younger people in this country get it, right? The Gen Z, the millennials, like we understand uh, where this is going, the, the fascist route this is taking, uh, and that we can head it off and we can stop that from happening. Another point is Taylor Swift talking about Republicans and Marsha Blackburn specifically using uh, her Christian values as cover for her attack on women and minorities. Uh, that is the strategy of the Republican right. Uh, it, it has been. It always will be. Um, and so when you do have people who are incredibly influential saying, no, that's, that's, that's not Christian values. That's not Tennessee Christian values. Uh, it's, it's embracing others with differences and spreading love. That, that's Christian values. Uh, that's incredibly important for Taylor Swift to do. Um, and, you know, we haven't really heard many Republicans since this, this documentary came out in 2020. We haven't heard many, you know, criticize Taylor Swift because that's the last thing you want to do. Uh, because Taylor Swift, there was a, a viral video in which uh, some, her, well, her concert got out in Atlanta, Georgia, and her fans flooded the subway system trying to get home. And and my belief is that if you can flood a subway system in a huge city, uh, then you can uh, affect the the way our country uh, is headed. You can have an impact uh, on, on election day. So it's going to be really interesting to see what Taylor does with her career and how she responds to, uh, the, the political wins in this country. Um, because it's pretty clear that she is, she doesn't want to sit out anymore. And it's great to know that, you know, she is as one of the, you know, the biggest celebrities uh, in the world, uh, it's great to know that she's not only willing to put her voice out there, but to show us kind of a behind the scenes look of, you know, having these political discussions. And I hope that that will inspire a new generation of pop stars uh, and, and artists who will put, you know, their, their beliefs uh, especially when they're rooted in in love and uh, and embracing others, put those beliefs in front of making money.